For the next tutorial, let's take a look on how to put a contact form into my WordPress page. And this is going to be way easier than you're thinking because again, we always have plugins we can use. So let's go to the plugins tab on our dashboard and we're going to go up to add a new plugin. From there, we're going to type into the search box contact form and we're going to look for the best one for our needs. At the top, this shows us that we can do a contact form. This allows people to give us feedback easily, or we can post it to a page or one of our posts. As you can see, each of these has a rating, so we're looking for one that has a nice high rating out of all of these. So let's go ahead and take a look at this contact form manager. This has four and a half stars, so let's go ahead and see how it works. I'm going to click on Install Now and click OK, and it installed it and let's click on Activate Plugin. Once that's done, we've got our Contact Form Manager right here. If you look here over on your dashboard now, we've got XYZ Contact, and they are the makers of the Contact Form Manager. So let's click on that, and we can choose our settings. This will allow it to prevent auto-removal of break and page tags. You can enable that or keep it disabled. You can enter a star symbol for mandatory form fields. I want to keep that enabled because I want to make sure that I get the information I need. And that can include their name, their email address, their address, their company, etc. If you want to credit the link to an author, if you want to send via SMTP, if you wanted to do an SMTP debug, a pagination limit of 20 pages, but you can either put this up or down. If you want to do a CAPTCHA key, and then you can click on Update Settings. So scrolling down, you can go into SMTP Settings. Right now, we don't have an SMTP account, but we'll get into that later. Below that is our contact forms. This is our first form, and we can edit it or we can delete it. Let's go ahead and edit our first form. First, let's name it, and I'm going to put contact. It's going to ask if we want boxes that say your name, and that will be text one, your email, email two, subject, which will be text three, and message body, which is text four. And you see these are numbered as they go down the page. And then up here, we have the submission, which is five. We can also add elements. So let's go ahead and click on select tag and decide if we want a text field, an email field, a drop-down menu, date, check boxes, which allow you to check more than one, radio buttons, which only allow you to choose one. If you choose a new one, it'll unchoose the last one, a place for them to upload files, a submit button, and a CAPTCHA. I'm going to go ahead and do a CAPTCHA because I know that spam is more likely to not be able to get through a CAPTCHA element. So I want to put a form element name, and I'm just going to put that as CAPTCHA and I'm going to click on Get Code. It's going to ask me to copy this code and paste it into the form on the left. So I'm going to copy between the brackets and the brackets themselves, click Copy. I'm going to click here under the message body and now you see it's given us a text box. I'm going to right click and hit Paste. Now here it gives us visuals so you can actually change the format, the font, link, how you're going to set up your whole page, anything you could do on how to set up a regular page or a post, this allows you to do it either visually or through HTML. And scrolling down, it's going to ask you about the mail to site admin. Now let's say that I want to make this the admin at WordPress tutorial hub.com. You can also put a CC that it'll copy it to whatever email address you want. And then here you can see the from email, which is email-2, and up here the email-2 is their email address. The subject is text-3, which up here text-3 is the subject they'd put in, and so on. Here it allows us to choose if we want to do a mail content type of HTML or plain text. Some people have email addresses that won't accept an HTML email, so you may want to do plain text. But if you're doing this for, say, business or something like that, usually the HTML is a better idea because it looks more polished. Down here, we can choose what you want the email to say to you. So for instance, since this one's a contact form, you have a new contact request. So every time someone fills out this form, it'll send you an email that says you have a new contact request. Again, you can change any of it visually or through HTML. And over here, it allows you to choose if you want a redirection link after they submit the form. 
So I'm going to just put that I want them to go right back to WordPress Tutorial Hub dot com's index page and I can just put backslash and it will know that that means index but you can send them to whichever page you want on the bottom you can choose whether you want to send an auto reply to the sender and this can be useful because they'll know if their email actually worked going through to you or not so you can disable or enable it this will put in the sender's email which is your email address your name it will send it to the email which is email dash two sending it back to their from subject is three again if you want it HTML or plain text you can choose what you want your reply to be you can see this is very generic thank you for contacting us your email has been received and should be processed shortly I'm going to take this submit five and I'm going to move that down to the bottom because I think it's easier for it to be at the bottom of the page than at the top frankly so after HTML I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to paste it in right there then I'm going to go down to the bottom and click update now I'm going to go to my page I'm going to click on contact me and we're just going to fill out the form below and it'll get back to us copy my code between the colons right click then I'm going to go into my pages and I've made a new page called contact me and this is going to pop up on my list of pages and I'm in HTML to make sure that this works correctly and I typed in just fill out the form below and I'll get back to you ASAP so I'm going to go ahead and paste that little quick form right into my page click on update and I'm going to go into my page you can see now my contact me shows up on my toolbar because I didn't tell it not to I'm going to click on that scroll down and then here's my form you're going to want to go in and make sure that it works by sending yourself a test email first. Fill out the CAPTCHA if you decided to use one and click on send. So I've sent it and it redirected me back to my index page. So that's pretty cool, right? So once that's done, in my email address I will have gotten an email through the contact form and I can add this person either to my contact list or I can answer any questions or concerns they may have so you need a contact form somewhere on your sheet so you can connect with your readers the more you connect the more they'll come to read you and the higher you'll get ranked the more popular you'll become so that's how it works thanks for listening to this tutorial I hope it helped you out and I'll see you at the next one